Hello and welcome back to Infinite Roleplay. I'm Nelson, and what we're going to be doing right now is uh, hopefully showing you how to create a town map in under five minutes. <clears throat> the key to this is having a square brush. As you can see, they look like little houses, or at least little house markers. Now, what you're going to have to do is go to your uh, brush setting menu and space it out a bit. Then go to Shape Dynamics fiddle around with the, the size jitter that way you have some randomness to the sizing as you can see here not all of them are the same size you turn your scatter on and if you look some quick uh, strokes of the mouse and you're already having a bunch of buildings in there you raise your count and you can make more of a you know slums and stuff more tightly packed squares to increase uh, the density <clears throat> in your town. So just fiddle around with the count and throw some squares on the screen. You can use this to populate the dead zones in your map once you have your specific buildings that you know you want in your map to be in specific places. You can turn off scattering so you have a more precise control of where the buildings are going. That way you can make <coughs> more controlled and decisive uh, placement of these quote-unquote random buildings. As you can see, they still have uh, a little bit of spacing and they fall in a random way. I like to work with layers, so I have the buildings on their separate layer, putting them on the top layer, and what I'm doing now is setting up a, a little roads layer. So with a different color and a soft brush, I'm just tracing in uh, roads. I want to get like the main streets, the the main areas of you know population in the city, or at least where the main traffic would be. <coughs> you know, changing the size of the the brush changes the size of the roads, of course, to make it look like more less traveled roads, like the back alleys and whatnot. I'm doing this a little bit faster just to illustrate how it can be done and how it can be done very easily, very quickly. Um, of course, you know, take a little bit more time with your line placement. Uh, be a little bit more discerning with your style. And of course, it's going to come out looking uh, even better. <coughs> yeah, that was a, a bad choice of road. So um, later on in the video, I'm going to be placing more buildings in that one section. But as you can see, with a lot of randomness thrown on there, it's dictating where certain roads should be. Hopefully getting a more organic feel to the growth of whatever town this is. So I'm deciding just to put down uh, the main road. And what I'm doing now is I want this to be a walled town. So I have a hard-edged round brush, and I'm just putting where the gatehouse would be, and slightly smaller round spots to, uh, those are just the towers along the wall of this walled-off community. I'm going to be shrinking down the brush size and connecting these dots to create the wall. Now the way that I'm drawing completely straight lines is I hold down the shift button and I click with the mouse. I move the mouse somewhere else, another one of the towers, and then I click again with the shift button held down the entire time. And what that does, it just connects a straight line between the two separate points that you clicked, making it real easy and real fast to build a wall. And that's, uh, that's pretty much how I do it. Hope that was uh, fast enough for you. <laughs> real fast. Real easy maps. So until I see you next time, ladies and gentlemen, peace out.